Hi everyone, welcome to Laposcopus. Thank you for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Capricorn for the second half of December. We're gonna go ahead and uh, see what's happening for you, what you need to know. Please keep in mind Capricorn, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so stick around. Let's find out what's going on. For those of you Capricorns who are celebrating holidays, happy holiday season! Let's see what's going on. We are starting today with the Coffee Cup Oracle Cards by Amira Salon. Beautiful deck. Oh, this is for you. Nice, we have Anchor Energy with Ocean there. Oh, there's something else. Oh, wow, and a ship. <laughs> Can't help it but notice the marine vibe here. Definitely could be travel for you in the future. It could be a cruise, could be a travel overseas. Definitely something to do with the water near water. Some of you will be traveling to the seaside. I do see that. But let's go ahead and dive in a little bit more and uh, start with this anchor card. Let's see what's going on for you there. This um, signifies stability for you. This signifies financial security. And look at that. We have that with four ones. That's very beautiful energy. That is that stability. Four ones is exactly talking about that foundation, the stable foundation for you. That's really, really um, positive card when it comes to uh, financial achievements as well you do have it with ten of swords which is some sort of ending some sort of completion here magician and king of pentacles um, i do feel that uh, what's going on here for some of you is there is an ending of certain job um, something that you are doing now um, uh, and I feel like this is something that you were almost manifesting here you wanted this ending because uh, for a lot of you this meaning uh, this means stepping into a new shoes a new position uh, a promotion here something that is very stable something that um, will improve your financial situation I see increase in your finances for sure and I feel like this increase is going to be significant to the point when you will feel um, stable in your financial situation uh, for once the, um, I get an energy here that there is something you want to do for either your family or for your house here for your home and I feel like you will be able to afford it you will have enough finances to take care of it whatever it is for you but the stand of swords definitely some sort of ending um, for a lot of you it's a certain job that you are ending now and um, you are manifesting your future you manifest instability into your life and it is coming in you have all the tools the magician is saying that you have all the tools that you need to be able to take on more responsibility was which you will have more um, finances coming in that's what i see let's go ahead and clarify that ocean three of sword jumped out The Fool, wow, and we have a tower, seven of wands, wow. Um, there is definitely an en uh, energy here of a breakup. I do feel that very strongly. You could have been dealing with the Aries, but it doesn't have to be. What it talks about is you starting a completely new journey because that's what fool does. They are um, on a precipice of starting a new journey in life. You have it with the Three of Swords, but it's, which is talking about some sort of heartache here, um, definitely emotional pain. And you have it with the Tower, which is a break, um, an energy of a break, a break of foundation a break of structure here with seven of wands this is that energy of arguments conflicts and not getting along with each other so i do feel that for some of you capricorns here if you have been going through difficulties in your relationship where you were where you know there were 
possibly even some lies said here, dishonesty, I get that. A lot of arguments, a lot of fighting here going on. I feel like the foundation of that relationship is not strong enough to hold. There is too much heartbreak here to uh, to overcome. And I feel that uh, what you're going to do is you're going to step into a new journey. You're going to take a risk of leaving this behind and um, starting a new journey in life when it comes to a romantic relationship. I do see a breakup here. It is talking about the relationship that it has a lot of conflict and fighting. This is not a happy relationship and all of a sudden, you know, um, out of the blue, you're being surprised that your partner want to, wants to leave. Not at all. There is a lot of heartache here, headache, headaches as well. I do get a lot of sleepless nights and uh, just being dissatisfied with your current situation. That's what I get from here. And yes, with this tower, I do feel there is a, a energy of a breakup and you're going on a new journey. Some of you could actually travel and book a solo travel. I get that energy. Um, after going through this breakup, I do see you uh, booking some sort of solo trip, going on your own somewhere for um, a vacation in a way, a trip. Let's go ahead and clarify the ship energy. There is a new direction in life for you, in certain area of life for you here. Six of Wands. Page of Swords, King of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are taking a new direction in your in your work. Some of you could be even changing careers here. I get that strongly. But a lot of you are changing the job or you're actually moving and working for somebody else. Whatever it is for you, you're going to have a lot of success in this. Uh, for those of you who are studying a new job or for those of you who are going on your own and studying a completely new um, in a journey of uh, being entrepreneur or being a business owner, I see you being very successful in that. You're taking a new direction in um, in whatever you're making money. So in a job, um, in Korea, like I said, some of you are going on a journey of being an entrepreneur here. There is a lot of money to be made there, absolutely. And there is definitely success that is coming to you. With the Six of Wands, you will experience a lot of success and a lot of recognition. I get a lot of recognition here for you as well. Um, there could be an air sign that is very significant in this journey for you. Uh, there is also an energy here of receiving good news. So receiving good news that um, you were approved for a certain position or, or um, that you've been given a certain job. Um, there is definitely good news coming towards you and it is financial related. That's what I see. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Let's uh, pull some uh, lights here still for you and see what other message we can get. What else is happening for my Capricorns? Second half of December, what's going on for you? What's up? You have Hangman. Oh, wait. This one. I feel like some of you feel um, a little bit as if uh, nothing is going on. It's, it's this energy of nothing is changing, nothing is happening for you. Um, there is an energy of uh, you being uh, feeling a little bit stuck and bored and just dissatisfied where you are and mainly dissatisfied that, like I said, nothing is happening. What I see happening here, though, is change is coming. Five, five, you have two fives here, which is definitely talking about the change. Fifteen for the devil as well. There is um, the energies will start moving for you much, much faster with that eight of wands. Eight of Wands is a fast moving energy. Whatever you felt like you were stuck with, for some of you, this is definitely in a relationship where you just um, became single. Uh, for some of you, you were left 
um, by the other person I do see this energy of being um, left behind and yes it is um, giving you a lot of worry here I do get this energy that you just don't see a relationship happen for you in the future because there is nothing happening like nothing is going on here but there is a fast moving energy for you and if we have this devil here this is your presentation in major arcana this is you standing strong this is a very significant uh, message for you was you know your major arcana representation coming out and you have it with the strengths this is a card of leo i do feel that for a lot of you capricorns you're taking on that energy of a leo becoming very strong and self-confident but also there is a there is an energy of you coupling up with somebody with very strong leo placements i get that very strongly here i see two personalities unique personalities coming together in a very strong bond in a very strong union and it is for those of you who've been single for quite a while i feel like you've been thinking about love but it just hasn't happened for you you've been stuck in this energy of uh, being alone stuck in the solo energy here and there is a cup of love that is being offered to you in the future that you don't see it it is behind you as of right now you see what's in uh, in front of you and uh, there is it feels like there is nothing to choose from there is a shift in energy there is definitely a shift in energy it wants things that happening and things will start happening really really fast for you and i do see a union of two very strong souls happening here that's what's going on okay let's go ahead and move this out of the way let's um Pisces could be also somehow significant um, in this portion of the reading for you let's go ahead and use keeper cards and see what else we can get uh, from here what else is happening for you what can we get for Capricorn what's happening for Capricorn look at that pathways coming through we've seen so many messages of you stepping onto a new path very interesting and to get that with the butterflies it is a completely different path and again distance horizons coming through a lot of energy of movement in your cars a lot of energy of distance and um, possible um, travel here definitely travel coming up for you for the second half of um, December let's see what I have. we have main male and main female um, I do get an energy of uh, a union here this could be a long distance relationship. I do get that. And with the eight of wands in reverse, what I'm getting here that there seem to be an energy of um, you uh, coming together with a person, but something uh, something logistically is not working right away. So it's either you guys are from the from different places and you're meeting somewhere, um, you know, like. If one of you is traveling and you're meeting this person, you get together and there is a period of time when they, either you or them, have to go home. And I do see a period of time when you disconnect from each other. But I do feel like you're staying in touch. I do see you talking to each, uh, to each other. I do see a lot of messages between you two. So some of you will definitely meet somebody during your travel. Or like I said, this person could be traveling towards you. But there is a bit of a stop somehow in this relationship after you meet. And then again, you'll be able to talk through with this person, um, through the situation. And there is a potential of growth here there is a potential of growth i do see that now uh, the death card indicates that there will be some sort of stop though um it could be just saying that uh, you are connecting with a scorpio that is a possibility here air sign is standing out strongly i do feel that the person that you're connecting with is somebody who's quite wise and very good with their words they know how to talk they know how to communicate very good at that there is an energy here of the with this bad health and it was two um person cards you might hear of somebody who's you know having some struggles with their health this could be you as well so be careful i mean we are in a winter season at least in this hemisphere so there could be some issues that will come up in that area but i do see that the path ahead is very bright for you so i do feel like you will be able to recover from this and you will be able to um, move to the better times when it comes to your health but i'm not a medical professional so if you do feel that you need to consult a medical professional please do so 
very strong energy of a new path for you. That's what I see. I do feel that you're coming some, uh, through some sort of transformation in many areas of your life and very strong energy of possible travel. That's what I see coming up for you, Capricorn. These are the messages that came through. I truly hope it was helpful and I do hope that you found something in this reading that was meant to be for you. Thank you so much for being here. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.